In the global chemicals industry, we see an increasing consolidation in the Western world. New global segment leaders in agrochemicals, industrial chemicals, coatings and many other segments emerge. At the same time, we see national companies in China, in the Middle East, coming back-end, upstream, energy and supply chain advantaged. What does that mean for procurement and the procurement of direct materials? Well, in the Western world, it means a shortening of the value chain. We have to buy petrochemicals, industrial chemicals and fine chemicals that we have previously been making. So we are confronted with new suppliers, more suppliers, higher risks, higher lead times, more complexity and more ambiguity. At the same time, we see nationalistic tendencies, so tariffs, duties and taxes become more important in the buying decision. This makes buying direct materials more complex and more strategic. At the same time, we see an automation and digitalization coming into the procurement function. Track and trace systems, automatic orders, catalogues, online systems and the direct ERP interlinkage with our suppliers becomes a reality. In total, the requirements for the procurement function in the chemical industry increases drastically. Indirect procurement typically represents 30 to 40 percent of the total spend of a chemical company. But from our experience, the indirect procurement function is often under-resourced and not that highly developed like in other industries such as in the automotive industry. However, the chemical industry offers specific levers for significant saving opportunities in indirect procurement. For example, the technical goods and services can be consolidated regionally or even globally instead of being sourced on a local level. Holistic involvement of procurement in all general goods and services such as legal services or marketing spends enable significant savings as well. And within very important categories such as energy, logistics and packaging, very effective levers on the demand side can be used for cost reduction. Therefore, from our experience, the optimization of indirect procurement is a very attractive case to go for. The chemical industry currently sees three major topics upcoming. Number one is the IT landscape. 60% of the CPOs have no clear vision on their procurement IT landscape, which means there's no clear strategy in terms of a best of breed selection or a single platform for all the challenges that are upcoming. Number two, is all about the operational excellence. So automation and robotics will help with a guided procurement process for your procurement people to make the right decisions in a harmonized and streamlined workflow. Number three is all about market intelligence and real-time available data for your analytics. This will help making the right decisions in operational procurement and even more important, make the right decisions in your strategic procurement areas.